Welcome to Creative Tian channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a punch card pattern and there is a free PDF download. You can find the link in the description box below. This is a standard 24 stitch card and I punch all myself. I have other videos about how to use punch card on the knitting machine. You can check out the links too. I'm going to use the standard gauge knitting machine today. I have a Brother 881 knitting machine. You can also use it on a bulky machine. The scale will be different because it's different size yarn, but the punch card is interchangeable. First, I started with some sketches and I like this one and I try to make it work on my blank punch card. I want a continuous pattern. So in this punch card, my left and right sides are matching and the top and bottoms are matching. Because I'm going to use fair IO technique, so it will be two colors. And I'm using a hand punch from eBay. It's second hand, but it works pretty well. To punch your card, just make sure the tip of your hand punch matches the little dot on the blank punch card. And here is my finished punch card. The two crossing lines in the center become the negative space. Now we are going to need a sample. First, insert the punch card by turning the dial and match both ends so it becomes a tube and place the clips on both sides so the pattern is continuous. And keep it locked, that's the red dot on the bottom of the three symbols. Now we dial the punch card so we start with row 1. I have from left 36 to right 36, so I can see a bigger pattern repeat. You can decide how many stitches you want. The pattern is always centered in the zero. And we will just start by kneading a few row of plain stitches. So you can cast on any way you like. My favorite is the E-Rob cast on. And set your main tension. My yarn is more like a sports weight. So I use tension 6. After hanging the weight, we can start kneading a few rows of the plain stockiness stitches. When we are ready to knead the pattern, we park the carriage on the left side. The carriage should be set to KC. And we need one row first. You will see the stitches are selected. Now we can press the MC button for multi-color knitting. Set the punch card to the green triangle for normal advance of the punch card. And the thread the second yarn to the B position. That's the one outside of the slot A. Now set the row counter back to zero, zero, zero and we can start to knead back and forth. After you are done, we cut off one color and continue to knead the other color for a few rows and just bind off.
That's the finished piece. And I also use a different yarn to knit another sample. It looks very different. So you can play with different yarns. I find a little bit fuller yarn makes the pattern stand out more. The one on the left side is a thinner yarn. It's more like a fingering weight. Maybe different tension will help. So check out the pattern download link. Thank you for watching today and see you next week.